By the end of this video, you'll know how to use the extend command in Fusion 360. Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to the Product Design Online YouTube channel, where I demo all things Fusion 360. If you're new here, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and comment below and let me know what you plan on using Fusion 360 for. The extend command can be activated from the sketch dropdown list or from the right click sketch menu. The extend tool will expand your sketch geometry to the nearest intersecting point of sketch geometry. In many common workflows, you'll find that the extend command works well in conjunction with the trim tool. I'll put a link to the trim tool video down below in this video's description. You'll also see that I've gone ahead and set up some sketch geometry, which I'll use to demo the functionality of the extend tool. If you would like to follow along, you can download the demo file by clicking the link below in the video description. For this first demo, you'll see that I have a rectangle with fillets or rounds on each of the corners. Take notice of the orange background highlight that signifies that this is a closed profile shape. If I decided that I wanted a square corner, I could delete one of the fillets and then use the extend tool to fix the corner. I'll select the fillet in the lower right hand corner and then I'll hit the delete key on my keyboard. I'll now activate the extend command from the sketch dropdown list. As I hover over the bottom line, you'll see a red preview of the line being extended. Take note of what happens when I move my mouse cursor to the left half of the line. The extension preview shows that it would be added to the left side. So where you click with your mouse does in fact matter. To actually extend the sketch geometry, you'll need to click once on the geometry. I'll click once on the right side of this line, and you'll notice that the line is extended over to the nearest point of intersecting sketch geometry, which in this case is this vertical line. So the nearest point does not necessarily have to be touching. To fully close this corner off, I'll select the vertical line, which extends the sketch geometry to the corner, making it once again a closed profile shape. You'll find yourself using the extend tool most often with sketch geometry that has straight lines. However, the extend tool can also be used with other sketch geometry. For this second example, I have an arc placed within this rectangle. If I decided I wanted this arc to continue through this shape, making it a closed circle, then I could use the extend tool to create the rest of the shape. With the extend tool active, you'll see that as I hover over the arc, it shows a preview of the arc getting closed off. I'll simply click on the arc to extend it around. One thing to note, you'll see that extending this arc around automatically added this coincident constraint. Just keep this in mind as you use the extend tool. You'll want to make sure that you're not over constraining your sketches. For this third example, we'll take a look at what the extend tool does when there are multiple points of intersecting geometry. If I wanted to extend this line to the top, then I would click on the line to extend it. However, you'll notice the line stopped at this other point where the geometry intersects. To extend this line all the way, you'll simply need to click on the line once again, which will extend the line all the way to the top. The nice thing about this is that Fusion 360 turns this into one single line. If I hit the escape key on my keyboard and select the line, you'll notice that there is one single line not multiple line segments, mimicking how the extend tool was originally used. In summary, the extend tool may not be used every time you're creating sketch geometry in Fusion 360. However, it can really come in handy when you're trying to close off open profile shapes. 
The extend tool in conjunction with the trim tool can speed up your workflow when maintaining and creating sketch geometry. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial or Fusion 360 questions in general, then be sure to comment them below. Hit that thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.